What we have here is actually a sample of vomit. Uh, it's on a puppy whose stool sample had been negative just two months prior, but being a puppy, it eats everything. In this sample of vomit, we see several roundworms. Um, in order to have been vomited up, the parasite burden is, is suspected to be quite large. Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, big fishing. Ha, ha, ha. The repeated fecal sample in this pup showed roundworm. In this case, the particular roundworm was Bailus ascaris, which is a um, raccoon roundworm. It is zoonotic, and if people get this roundworm, it can be quite severe. Of the 16 published neurological cases in the U.S., six of the infected people died. Uh, it can often go undiagnosed. Not alive anymore, but... Uh... They were moving when bounded up. The very young or developmentally disabled are the most likely to get this zoonotic disease as they are the most likely to put contaminated fingers, objects, soil into their mouths. Today's own new house on Fox. Show me a bicycle. Nobody that's a ball. Next week on an all new house. <laughs> An autistic boy is dying. He won't survive three days. But the secret that will save him... You have to tell me. ...is trapped in his mind. Liver cells under his arm. I don't know what he's got where his liver's supposed to be. For the house fans out there, I thought I'd put that in there. Um, that particular episode, the young boy had uh, Bailus Ascaris. We call these spaghetti-like worms. We don't actually expect the vomit to look like spaghetti sauce. <laughs> Soft paws are a viable alternative for the destructive cat when scratching posts don't do the trick. They are a plastic covering that go over top of the nail, um, which make the scratching less destructive. The downside of the soft paw is that they do not allow the cat to retract their nails, so it's not a natural state for the cat. However, it is a much better alternative than being given up for adoption. In the past, we used to do a procedure known as ponchiectomy on the destructive animal, otherwise known as declawing. Thankfully, this barbaric process has essentially been eliminated. I say barbaric because in essence, you are taking off all or part of the distal phalange when you take off the nail, which is the equivalent of taking the finger off at the first knuckle if you're looking at a human hand. Not all genetic abnormalities are bad. My favorite one of all is the polydactyl cat. Typically cats will have five digits on each of their front paws and four on each of their rear paws, uh, but polydactyl cats can have up to uh, six or eight on their front paws and, and six on the back. Um, I love these guys. They look like they're wearing mittens or boxing gloves. They are so cute. Apparently, Ernest Hemingway also had an obsession for polydactyl cats, and so they're often known as Hemingway cats. He's so comfortable.
Ooh, what do you say? Oh my goodness, I can't even see what I'm getting. I'm getting these noses high. <laughs> Whoa. Hi. <laughs> Which one nibbles both of them? Well, any of them could mistake it for food. Right? I'm not gonna give them food for a minute. <laughs> Hi! 